uh, autonomous public transportation is being trialed and deployed in many cities across the globe. Shanghai, Hamburg, in May 2024, the UK introduced the Automated Vehicles Act, where you will see self-driving vehicles on its roads by the year 2026. We are seeing the same technology being developed right here in Malaysia and by a Malaysian company. Each autonomous vehicle system is customized to the road and traffic conditions, customized to passenger demands, and of course, importantly, local legislation. The autonomous public mobility system brings several key benefits to the operator and the community. The autonomous buses use a combination of sensors, cameras, and light detection and ranging cap uh, capabilities, which can literally see traffic, cyclists, and other obstacles in all directions. This data is then processed real-time, using AI algorithms to make decisions about navigation, obstacle avoidance, and route planning, which ultimately, as it builds up, makes the journey safer and a lot more efficient. This is in line with the Madani government's efforts to transform <coughs> Malaysia into a digital nation, where we use digital technology such as 5G to significantly improve public services, to improve businesses, communities, and ultimately, government. Hanya bila akan mungkin mulakan prosesnya ataupun dibentangkan supaya uh, otonomi bas ni dapat dikemuskan secara sebenar? Timeline belum ada lagi, cuma sekarang sebab uh, POC ni tengah dijalankan kita uh, ada juga jawatan kuasa dalam uh, perkara autonomous vehicle ini uh, sudah tentu pihak yang diberikan uh, kedudusan untuk menjalankan POC ini juga boleh uh, memberikan pandangan uh, supaya apakah bentuk uh, uh, perundangan ataupun uh, pindaan yang diperlukan uh, jadi di peringkat Kementerian Pengangkutan sudah tentu kita bersedia untuk membantu tetapi saya yakin bahawa perkara ini uh, perlu kita juga lihat juga uh, beberapa contoh di negara-negara lain uh, yang sudah pun mungkin ada kerangka undang-undangnya uh, setakat ini uh, Malaysia memang belum ada kerangka undang-undang untuk uh, autonomous vehicle jadi kita perlu melihat contoh-contoh uh, dekat luar uh, sebagai rujukan uh, dan sudah tentu kita uh, bersedia untuk memberikan uh, facilitation uh, dan sekiranya perkara ini boleh dikomersialiskan di di dengan lebih cepat kita boleh bergerak seiring